In this lesson, we're going to define Excel RTD, verify the TWS settings for RTD access, walk through a sample RTD spreadsheet, and look at syntax of an RTD formula. RTD is a worksheet function provided by Microsoft that allows Excel to retrieve data from a real-time data server. In this case, the Trader Workstation, or IB Gateway, is the server that sends data back to Excel. In essence, it allows you to create your own custom watch list to display quotes in Excel. Each cell will contain a formula that represents a specific market data column of an instrument. If you are using RTD, you must also ensure that the TWS API was installed on the same drive as the operating system, which is usually the C drive, or there may be issues. First, we must verify that the TWS API settings are configured correctly as described in Lesson 1. To do that, just open Global Configuration from the File menu and go to API, Settings and Enable ActiveX and Socket Clients, then review the socket ports. If you would like to connect on a different socket port or IP, you may add connection parameters to your RTD formulas. We will cover the syntax of the RTD more in-depth shortly. Here's an example of the host port client ID parameters. The sample RTD spreadsheet will be located in the TWS API folder of the API installation. The sample sheet primarily uses the start and end macro buttons to automatically add or remove an equal sign at the beginning of the pre-populated formulas in order to complete each request. In the sample, the columns of the spreadsheet, such as volume, are used as the topic string and are referenced directly in the RTD formulas to create the formulas for each column. You may do the same in your custom spreadsheet, or you may write your formulas explicitly. RTD formulas consist of the PROG ID, server, and topic strings. As such, the first two fields in your RTD formulas will always be the same. Formulas can be built using either a simple or complex syntax. You can also mix the syntax. Here is IBKR's syntax samples page, where it is suggested you view example formulas for the different instrument types. Here is an example of how to specify the last price for AMZN using the complex syntax. The QT equals topic string tells us which market data column to request from TWS. Available quote types or tick types can be found in the following page. Tick types are different quote types which are available for different instruments supported by TWS. The data relayed back for these ticks is equivalent to the data displayed in its corresponding TWS market data column. As can be seen here, tick types include bid, ask, last, volume, etc. Each RTD formula is able to relay back data for a single tick type. After the formula has been entered into a cell, Excel will begin to query and update the price automatically. I'll just hit enter and now you'll see the prices are updating. Note, due to limitations of the RTD technology and Excel, there may be some delay when comparing the price values in Excel and TWS as Excel cannot update the displayed values as quickly as the API sends them. Now, this is how to query the last price for AMZN using the simple syntax. The sample syntax page will provide more details and the link will be included in the study notes. Let's access the tick types page again. You may have noticed some tick types are marked as generic tick types. These are additional values that may be pulled from TWS. Here you'll see tick types for things like option, historical volatility, 52 week high, average volume, etc. For example, if you want to query the 52-week high for AMZN, specify gen ticks equal 165 and QT equals 
week 52 high. Note, not all generic ticks are supported for all instrument types. If you request data for an unsupported tick, you may receive error 321, incorrect generic tick list, which will also tell you the supported generic ticks for the instrument. If you obtain this error, or do not receive the expected data, you may verify the values returned in TWS. However, if the TWS market data type is not listed in our documentation, it will not be returned in the API. Next, let's check out an example to obtain dividend information. Again, you may enter the formula shown here and hit return to display the information.